proposed, Paul Messenger with Milestone Systems kind of provide an overview of some of our unique integrations to leading technology partners. I'm going to start with Axis, showing off the camera side analytics that we support uh, in, our, in our platform. So the first one I'm going to show you is called Axis Loitering Guard. This is part of their free offering that's included with all their modern cameras. You can set up a zone and identify how long uh, before the event occurs, if someone should stand in that zone. And then you can see we're able to pull the metadata, that bounding box around the individual, that red box is represented once they've tripped the settings that you have and you get the alerts. If you have problem areas at your facility or your campus where you have issues, if people are milling about, for example, you can get an alert to somebody uh, hovering in the area. And then that can be realized as, a, as, a, as an alarm in our alarm manager, sent out as a push notification as well. There's also um, a, um, another offering from Access called Perimeter Defender. And with Perimeter Defender, they've actually written a, a plugin to Milestone where we're able to uh, actually see that metadata live, um, the bounding box, uh, the, the, not the, the bounding box as well as what the zone is. So this, what you're seeing is, is the Perimeter Defender bridge, uh, this is where you can go in and configure these analytics on the Axis camera and get an edge-based analytic. Then Milestone, we're able to show the overlay. And then when I click these alarms, you see we have the ability to go in and review uh, the incident. And we can see the object tag, uh, see the, 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 the trail of metadata showing the direction of travel, where they came from. Um, and then you can see after a certain amount of time, that alarm bubble goes from green to red letting you know that you've had um, a perimeter breach or um, a loitering event. We also recently updated uh, and have Access Body Warm uh, live in, the, in, in, our, in our demo system. So I'll just pull this up uh, and I'll pull up some video. You can see here, we're able to ingest the video from the Access Body Warm solution. Uh, our software automatically creates a bookmark, which makes it easy for you to search through body camera users. So if you're an agency that has a lot of body cam users uh, from a search experience, having that automatic bookmark is very handy. And then here's a quick overview of the solution. You got the body camera, it goes to their dock, uh, their kind of gateway, which is then integrated to Extratech. So that once the, um, the um, body cameras are docked, it's an automatic pull of the video and, and it builds into the database with the corresponding timestamps and, um, and bookmarks. So that's a quick touch on Axis. Now moving on, I'm going to show uh, uh, some of the interesting things that we can do uh, with Hanwha. So Hanwha, we uh, have their new AI camera installed. So I'm going to pull up in our search tab, which is the spot in the smart client where you where you go to search for um, for common things. I'm just looking at the last two hours uh, of all the recordings in this in this parking lot, right? And and there's a lot of activity on the street above. So we've got 152 results of just motion. Uh, in in uh, in those two hours, so we're collecting uh, metadata from this handlock camera, and we're building it into an index. And they uh, wrote a plugin that allows you to search through this metadata. So the search framework, we have some things we can search for built in, but then also it can be extended through our community partners uh, that can embed their own buttons here. So I have the Hanwha search plugin installed, which is free of charge um, for for Milestone customers and, and Hanwha customers. And you see this vehicle button. Uh, it is something that I can search to, to, to find just the vehicles in this scene. So you can see there are 152 incidents of motion, uh, but actually 472 times a vehicle has been seen. But what's great is now I have these filters where I can go through the metadata. So if I got a report of a, of a yellow vehicle, I can click the yellow color and just isolate it to when yellow vehicles have come by. And then I can pause that video and I can see um, uh, the type classification, the color, and the likelihood. So you're starting to see that metadata visualized here. I can then clear that yellow filter, and I could say, hey, just show me all the cars. Uh, I can hit the filter and, and apply, uh, you know, show me red cars. So there you can see I'm going from an overwhelming amount of, of results uh, to just the times uh, that we're seeing uh, uh, reddish, uh, you know, type vehicles uh, burst through the scene. But that makes it much easier to um, um, uh, find what you're looking for. And then um, using our search experience, right? If this is the vehicle that you were uh, after, you can hit the sync button, uh, jump back to playback. And then you'll see that the, that particular camera or that particular, uh, uh, excuse me, vehicle is on screen. And then you can follow it if it moves off to another part of your facility. So that leads me to, um, to Bosch as well. So Bosch, we can do uh, uh, searches. So if I pull up, um, if I pull up one of my Bosch cameras, for example, uh, we'll just say this pre-sales open area here. 
I've got 12 times, uh, 12, you know, results in the last two hours of, uh, of motion and I can hit play and, and, and watch those previews. Um, but just like the Hanwha AI camera, this Bosch camera is also capable of sending us metadata and we have the ability to, uh, to, to search through it uh, using their plugin. So there's 267 results in the last seven days, but I just wanna look for uh, uh, people uh, wearing red, for example. So I can come up here, I can, uh, um, I can see the search for, you see there's a Bosch forensic search button that I can choose. And then I can go ahead and configure um, 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 a search using their uh, search plugin. So I'm looking for uh, a person um, uh, wearing the color red, for example. So I can go ahead and hit set filter on that. And it's going to pull in the times uh, that I have the color red uh, or it kind of, in that family uh, appearing in, in, the, in the scene. So this is similar. Another way you can extend the power of our search uh, using third-party plugins, right? The Bosch camera was sending us when somebody is wearing red, when people are wearing that, that shade of red uh, in that family, and then I can search through the results. And instead of having to comb through 267 or what have you, I've got just the times, um, um, the 36 times uh, the red color family's been seen. And you can see even here uh, that it's finding that color and associating it with that individual. So that's the search experience. And again, the key uh, here is that this is free. Uh, these plugins, there's no charge. So if you're using, if you're using Milestone Expert or corporate software, if you have uh, um, the, the, the Bosch or the Hanwha cameras that are sending us the metadata, you're able to um, install these plugins and easily do these searches. And the way Bosch sends us the metadata, we can actually use our built-in search. So this people button, if I do a new search on people, it's just going to find people very quickly uh, uh, you know, using the OnVIF data that we that we built into our search framework as well. So there's a lot coming in the future uh, with this uh, with this plug with this uh, search experience. So Access Bosch and Hanwha I've covered. I wanted to touch on uh, on Linnell, uh, one of our leading access control partners. What I'm going to show here is what's called our Express Access Framework. Again, this is not Milestone Access Control. We can do this with 12 different uh, uh, partners, but we're actually uh, doing it um, with, a, with a Linnell system uh, at our office in Oregon. So I can signal the open command, and you'll see that that comes in on the list, and you can see the reader flash uh, green to red. But if you have a critical entrance or exit point, you can set this up. I can click the Matt Roach credential here and see one of our, our inside channel managers approach the door and I can uh, you know, verify um, that matches the, the credential of the person. So it's a quick, simple way to visually verify access control events on your, um, on your system uh, without having to lock yourself to a single vendor and have one clean interface uh, for your people. And then once you've selected an event, you can scroll through this ticker tape. You can see all the times that the card's been presented. And then you can even do a, an investigation right from here as well. So I can click this, um, this button here. It's going to take me to the access control tab. It's going to have uh, the video filtered uh, to just the times that Chris Ferguson, the badge that I um, was clicking on, uh, came through. And you see if I can then clear that filter, I've got all my access control events. I can go one through one and instantly uh, visually verify them and make sure that the, the, the person is, is the right uh, uh, credential. So we're also uh, fully integrated with BriefCam. So we've got uh, the, the ability to do uh, um, the BriefCam integration. Their video synopsis technology is very powerful for, powerful for doing investigations and, 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 and doing video synopsis. But we also can get their real-time alerts, which has become uh, uh, very powerful. So I have the ability to uh, come to the alarm manager, which I alluded to earlier. Here you can see an example of one of the alarms we're getting. Every time uh, we're seeing a bicycle in this particular camera, BriefCam is, is doing that object analysis real-time and sending us that alert. Uh, we also have the ability to detect uh, people that aren't wearing masks. It's actually required that you wear a mask in our office uh, if you're not sitting at your cube right now. So um, um, these are violations that we have of, uh, of people uh, in the building uh, with, without a mask on. And we've seen that's really reliable and uh, has been coming in uh, real time. And we, we also have it set up with, with facial recognition as well. So again, uh, you know, five different um, uh, leading technology partners, all integrated into the Milestone Smart Client, one seamless interface, uh, for uh, end customers to to leverage all this all the, all these different uh, strengths that we have from our community partners. Again, Paul Messenger, thank you.